Hey, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to get on here and <clears throat> touch bases with everyone. Um, I have my ear pod in to see if that helps with the volume. I'm making it a little clear because my voice is still not 100% after having parathyroid surgery removal. Um, if you can see, I have a mark still where the tubes came out and here is my scar. It's hid pretty well and thank goodness I haven't keloid, but I'm going to be working on that um, to try and lighten it even more. <clears throat> um, and I'll share that product with you guys if you're interested, if, if it's effective. But um, I just wanted to give y'all an update and I've missed y'all so much. So what I've decided, it's such a effort now to get on here and make a video because I'm not wanting to make a video that's unedited or what have you. But um, with talking with Paul, he's just like the people here give you comments because they love you you know they don't care if it's a big production they just want to hear from you and see you so i said okay let me uh <laughs> let me test that out and see how well we can do so i'm gonna try and do these quick little updates with you guys and i uh depending on how my energy level is I know I'm gonna be doing a video about the parathyroid surgery, what I went through, what I'm going through on a daily basis because when I did my research for this surgery, you know, listening to the doctors, um, nobody prepared me for this aftermath. And living your life in a different kind of daily pain. And I know I'm gonna make a video to put on YouTube so that people who are researching about parathyroid surgery can have a full understanding of what their recovery could look like. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm still very swollen and I'm two months out. I think I'm right about two months out. Um, my voice has not recovered. I can't sing. <clears throat> not that I was that great of a singer, but I had a very joyful voice to sing the kingdom melodies whenever I would go and worship. And now that COVID's gotten better and our kingdom halls have opened up, when ours opened up, I went the uh, first night, opened my mouth to sing and nothing came out. And that was very devastating because I wasn't prepared for that. Um, my voice was getting better, but I wasn't prepared for that and amongst everything else. So I will do an update on that, but I just kind of wanted to get on here and speak to you guys so I could hear back from you. Please comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. I really want to know how you are doing, how you are feeling today. And obviously, if you have any questions that you want to ask me, then comment and ask them. You know, I've, I've really missed you guys. I've really missed crafting. I just haven't had the energy and strength to do it. It's an ordeal just waking up every morning and getting ready for work. <laughs> when I say ordeal, I mean truly an ordeal. You have to wake up. I do. Earlier than you normally would to uh, help your body get ready for the day and that's not something I used to have to do but after this surgery that's something I have to do consistently um, but um, 
I plan on doing a lot of different videos for you guys. I have some that I've already filmed. I think I filmed them before the procedure, but I just hadn't had the energy to edit them and get them up, but I will be doing that. But um, I just miss y'all. I miss you so much. And I want to hear from you. So please, um, let's interact with each other. Comment down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down the video. But um, just communicate with me, please, on this platform. And share, obviously, if there's somebody going through it and you know somebody that's having issues with their endocrine system, um, like I am and I have, you know, share so that they can comment, ask questions. You know, this is a community for a reason, not just for arts and crafts. This is a brain and mold community. Anything going on with me, I'm going to share it with you guys. You know, and then when you turn around and comment, you're sharing. And that brings up other areas that we can talk about and educate each other on. So, having said that, um, please comment down below. Um, let's get an open communication going on. Um, and be looking out for the video that I do about parathyroid surgery, my particular journey and what happened with me. Um, and uh, just come together as a community, you know, on multiple things, not just our love of crafting. So I hope that everybody else is doing okay. And, you know, my heart goes out to everyone. We've had a lot of wickedness happening in this world. And as we know, you know, this world isn't our final stop the way that it is presently. Um, things will get better in God's time. It will get better. And if you're a Bible reading Christian, because it would be Christians that would normally read the Bible, if you are a Bible reading Christian, then you know what times we are living in and you know Bible prophecies. You see them being fulfilled, so you know we don't have a whole lot of time left. Um, and nobody knows when their time is up. <laughs> so um, stay in prayer for yourselves, for your families, for your communities, for everyone that walk on this earth uh, in the human physical form. Because everybody is going through it. Everybody. So... On that note, I just want to let you guys know that I love you. I'm thinking about you, and I'm praying for everybody, just like I pray for myself and my family and, and everything that's, that's going on to make it a little bit easier to make it through the day, you know, and ask for the grace to be able to continue the day, even when... You're not sure if you're going to be able to take your next step <laughs> and not fall down or trip. So, I love you guys. Have a great day.